Hey everybody, long time no see. Um, I wanted to do this video, um, hopefully by processing what's going on, I can stop the process um, from completing itself, basically. Uh, since I did the EMDR, a lot of stuff has just been kind of out of whack for me. Um, I've been having really weird memories and very violent nightmares and just sleepless nights. Uh, I've been trying to keep my appetite up. You know, whether I have an appetite or not, I try to eat. Um, uh, that kind of thing. But today, for the first time in 14 years, 14 years, um, I started having a body memory. Um, on my right leg, I have a stab wound. And it has started opening um, from the inside. You know how they, you know how they do. Um, they start from the inside and eventually surface. For some of you, uh, you'll understand what I'm what I mean. Uh, for those of you who don't know what body memories are, I'm going to give you a little tutorial. There is a theory um, amongst the psychological community and the psychiatric community that when you experience certain abuse. Um, when you cert when you experience certain traumas, um, it doesn't just happen on on a uh, on a superficial level. It doesn't just happen to your body. Um, uh, it doesn't have just happen to your skin. Basically, um, what it what it does is that it affects you on a cellular level. Um, that your body actually remembers not just your brain not just your mind but your body remembers the trauma and can hold um, can hold memories there I've had body memories um, up until I was until about 96 and 97 um, I had I had body memories um, the scars on my arms and the um, scars on my chest would open up um, and bleed just like they had just like they had occurred and that's why for a long time people thought that I was self-harming <clears throat> but I wasn't um, it was just my body reacting to a memory that it had and so they are called body memories and it is a uh, it doesn't happen to everybody who's experienced trauma. Um, it is a, a rare phenomenon, but it does occur. It has been documented. Um, there has been research done on it. Um, some people believe that it it is the body remembering, and some some schools of thought think that it's just the person um, harming themselves as a reaction to their trauma. Whatever your thoughts are, um, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not here to change your mind. Um, God, I look like crap. <laughs> it's been a very rough day. Um, had very fucked up dreams last night, and uh, I didn't go to treatment today. Um, I just couldn't couldn't bring myself because I was. I was waiting all day for my scar to open up and it stings um, it's it's throbbing now so I, I do I do suspect that uh, by the time I go to bed tonight that it will completely open it's swollen um, it's red along the um, it's, it's it's red along the outside um, but I'm not I'm not very pleased with this because I haven't had one in so many years I have not had one and 
the fact that this is happening and that all of this other crap is happening as a result you know I didn't have any of these things go on before the EMDR and my therapist thinks that a little door was opened and has not been closed yet now my regular outpatient um, therapist Carrie um, does do EMDR and uh, my therapist at Lakeside um, thinks that I should talk to her about it see if we can close the door but I am terrified about doing anything with EMDR now I'm terrified my first experience now mind you it did help with the memory that we worked on when my dad died um, it, it did help but then all this other stuff happened and I, I don't I don't blame the, the, the people I don't blame the person that did the EMDR it wasn't her fault um, it was just my my brain how it's how it's constructed and how things work within my system that's just the way sometimes things go and um, I did see Christopher's video and I don't want you guys to think that my therapist at the facility is a bad therapist she's not she's very um, she's a good therapist and and she does she does care about the people there um, I think that's why it's scaring me um, I always start pushing people away I start pushing people away when um, it looks like they care about me because I don't want to be hurt by people I don't want to put my trust in someone who isn't worthy and I don't want to put my trust in people who are just going to take that trust and crush it so um, I don't know I think I want to talk about stuff that happened in group but I don't know yet but I know on the flip side that that's the only way that I'm going to start getting better is if I start dealing with it so it's a catch-22 but um, body memories body memories can be very scary especially if you experience them for the first time and you don't know what they are um, you wake up and there's there's blood or there's bruises on your body it can manifest itself in, in anything um, into anything whatever your trauma was it can manifest itself in that now usually to absorb the memory that's related to whatever your your body is remembering um, it goes in three steps um, and it doesn't matter which order it goes into um, it body memories flashbacks and nightmares um, that's how it's worked for me I don't know if that's a common thing if that's something that has always you know that's how people always function but then I absorb the memory and the memory is mine um, I don't know if it necessarily belongs to anybody but um, but I'm not real happy with the situation so I wanted to process that and hopefully stop what's going on um, I guess I'll keep you guys updated and let you know tomorrow or Sunday if um, if it did open all the way um, I think that's it uh, I hope you guys are well and uh, sorry I've been away but uh, hopefully things are getting back on track and uh, take care